Welcome to Sober Barkeep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in the lovely Lake City, Texas. All right, today we're going to talk about Free Spirit's Spirit of Tequila. Um, you can see I drink a little bit of this one. Um, I, I've been working with this one for a little while and, and obviously um, I kind of like it because it's almost gone. Gonna need some more, um, and I'll tell you why. So, so this is um, this is the third in their line that I've reviewed on the show here. And you know, if you've watched this at all, I absolutely love their gin, <clears throat> and I use it in almost any gin uh, mixed drink, uh, especially if I'm looking for more citrus for it. If I'm looking for more juniper, I'll try something else. But I just I really love their their gin product, their whiskey product. Um, found a good use for it as well. Um, but the tequila one, um, let, let me pour a little, kind of describe it. Um, because I played with this one for a little while before I decided to make this episode. Um, when, when you pour it, first off, first off, it's got a great, uh, it's got a great uh, Repsado style uh, uh, look to it. Uh, and I think that's what they were going for with this thing. Um, when you smell it, it's got, it's got kind of a unique smell to it. It's not real tequila-y, tequila -y, tequila type smell to it uh, when, when you first uh, get the aroma. It's, but it's, it's not... Not an unpleasant smell, it's just a different smell, I guess. Um, then, then when you taste it straight, um, it's got, got a little bit of a tang to it, which is kind of odd. And again, the thing to remember about uh, non-alcoholic spirits is they're really meant to be drinking cocktails. And here's what, as I, as I talk, this is where this product starts really, really shining. A really smoky, nice, natural smoke. It's not an artificial, like, liquid smoke kind of uh, effect. And it's a full mouthfeel effect, much like you would get with a tequila. Um, it's got a, a, a light burn to it, um, but it's, it's, it's very pleasant. I, I really like that aftertaste. I don't particularly like, I, I can't see myself drinking this neat or on the rocks. But that smokiness is what I kept playing with. And I tried it in, I tried it in uh, margaritas, and it was good, um, but, it, but it didn't really shine uh, until I came up with this concoction that I'm gonna show you right now uh, that I have been drinking a lot. Um, so what, what I basically did was, was take the spirit of tequila and um, do a couple shots of it And, and I'm going after kind of a, a mule type approach here, like you would have. Um, squeeze the ha half of a small lemon, or lime, I'm sorry. So the juice of half of a, of a small lime. And this, is, this is exactly how I would prepare a Moscow mule for my wife, um, with the exception of I would be using vodka. Um, Use uh, my favorite cock and bull ginger beer. So pour a little bit of that in there. Give it a little bit of a stir. And man, that is one tasty drink. The ginger kind of marries in with the flavors that they've got in this particular product. That smokiness hits you really quick, and it's long, and it tastes like a high-end tequila drink. Um, it, it, the, the other the ways I mixed it, um, it with uh, with orange juice or with uh, as a margarita were good, but this really just all of a sudden jumps out. And I'm gonna call this my I'm call this my Tijuana Mule. Um, this this Tijuana Mule really brings out that rich tequila-like flavor in this product. Um, and because of that, I'm going to give this a four and a half because it, 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 although it's not there in the nose initially, when you mix this right, and when you mix it with anything, it tastes like tequila. But when you mix this with, with this ginger concoction here and a little bit of lime, man, it just kicks it up and you end up with this delicious and just long smoky. So if you like that smoky type tequila, you like the tequila that's got the real long aftertaste, um, then this is a non-alcoholic product that I would highly recommend you go out and buy and try. 
Um, I'm obviously going to be getting some more of this because I'm running really low. And this is one of my favorite evening drinks that I've been hitting pretty good. Um, because it just is absolutely delicious. And it, and it re reminds me of a high-end alcoholic cocktail. Plain and simple. Uh, and, and all it is, it's very simple. It's just the tequila product, the spirit tequila. It's got half of a, a lime and then a little ginger beer in it. And you want to use good ginger beer. Uh, but it just marries well and ends up with a fantastic flavor. So the guys at uh, Free Spirit, you guys have really knocked it out of the park. Been very impressed with your products. This is the third one again. Um, this one's right up here with the gin. Not quite as high as the gin, um, but it's right up there. And in this cocktail, this is, this is one of my go-tos. I love it. So for the sober barkeep, let well drink smart.